Alan Kasperson, and I'm a senior at the University, University of Minnesota Morris, and we'll be examining an article I have chosen with a rhetorical approach. The article is named uh, Virtual Justice Testing Disposition Theory in the Context of a Story Driven Video Game. It was authored by uh, Mike uh, Schmeinbach and uh, Anthony M. Limperos, and was published by the Journal, the journal of Broadcasting and Ele Electronic Media. Uh, the, the authors argue that their research is necessary because of the disposition theory, which is, which states that uh, media and entertainment users make moral judgments and characters in a narrative, which in turn affects their enjoyment of the narrative. Uh, it has been applied to both movies and television, but not to video games, which have a distinct advantage over the other forms of media. Um, unlike the other forms of media, video games allow the user to make ju judgments based on their own values and morals. Uh, the authors decide to apply this theory by taking a popular video game, popular a role-playing game, that that had a clear narrative element and designed to compel certain moral and immoral decisions. They had uh, three hypotheses that that they uh, they had three hypotheses they believed would happen. Those are one: participants who experience disposition consistent scenario scenarios within the game will report a greater level of outcome satisfaction and see characters' fates as more deserved than those who experience inconsistent scenarios. Uh, hypothesis two: participants who experience disposition consistent scenarios within the game will report lower levels of guilt than those who experience inconsistent scenarios. And uh, hypothesis three: participants who experience disposition disposition consistent scenarios within the game will report greater levels of enjoyment than those who experience inconsistent scenarios. Uh, they took 124 students from a Northwestern University. Uh, they consisted of over two-thirds of them, or 67% of them being female, and over 82% of which had like no background with PC gaming. Uh, the authors asked only one research question after playing the game at after a set period of time, and that was, uh, does empathy moderate the effect of disposition consistency on guilt, outcome satisfaction, perceived deservingness, and enjoyment? Um, the students were given a pre-test and a post-test questionnaires judging their empathy based on a 1 to 7 scale, which 7 was the strongly agree. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Other questions asked in the post-test were, uh, were asked of uh, satisfaction, guilt, and enjoyment of the game. Um, the results were a bit hard to read, we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, pretty much what I got out of the summary and discussion was that uh, everything had a fairly positive uh, correlation. Um, the hypothesis 1 had an 88% positive co correlation, while hypothesis 3 had an 81. Uh, hypothesis 2 was where they had a bit of a struggle, but yet it still kind of showed a, a positive correlation with a 83%, uh, uh, 63%, my bad. Um, some strengths of the article was uh, addressing and explaining how disposition theory should be applied to video games now, since its interactions with players is critical for the story to progress compared to the other forms of media entertainment. Uh, the amount of background research was fair, and it's organized, and the format was very easy to follow. Uh, I did, however, find the results to be the only really hard thing to follow, since they really don't give like a legend of what all these numbers really mean, or at least it's not very clear. So I kind of had a hard, hard time. I had to go to discussion to find all that stuff out. Also, there was no uh, specific amount of time for how long they played the game, which I believe if you play a game for a longer amount of time, you'll get more attached to that character. Um, I think the article did provide an interesting design and experiment to the theory, and I think it could be further expanded by games, by uh, such games where it's uh, decision-based, or um, by testing this out with an older audience and seeing how their morals might uh, interact. And I, I honestly think maybe they should have um, tried to examine, like, religious backgrounds, because I, I think there would have been, like, more morals that would have been questioned there. So that's my take on this article.